let's continue building on this project here we have I have made some design changes like like make this button to the link and yeah everywhere I make links so looks like it looks slightly nicer okay so next we want to add a objective or summary section to our user detail so we'll need that summary to display on top of the resume something like so this section all right this top section so we'll put that on this user detail edit form over here text area so for that we need one more extra field on this user detail table let's go to VS code let's close all the tabs okay so if we go to migration files for user detail here we go so we have this many fields we'll need one more field for summary so how do we do that so if we later on realize that we need to add some column to our table the way we do it is so without losing any data the way we do is go to terminal type PSP artisan make migration and uh, I will call it add summary column to user details table so one more flag you need to do when you are updating is table equals to user details so name of table enter all right so it's created so here we go all right so difference between create migration file is schema create here it is like so and here schema table all right so this will all just update doesn't create anything all right so let's add that field string summary or let's make it text so that it will handle more data there and table drop column so whenever we do rollback it should drop this column only so whatever migration does here should revert here okay so our new field is done let's migrate to create this okay done and now let's go to user detail create form there we go and here I'll add one more field so it will be text area column force column 30 row 4 and name will be summary like so and same thing we'll need on our edit blade as well so let's put it there as well and we'll need this so that we can display value so in text area we display value like here inside tag user details summary all right and also go to user detail controller and make summary required as well so one more step go to user detail model 
and add it to fillable otherwise it won't be fillable if you are using create method so refresh you should see that all right so slightly to fix all these let's add br tag over here and same thing for edit so that it will push that down okay for now looks good submit yeah so it is saving perfect now let's make this form look nicer so right now these forms doesn't look so good so we'll use bootstrap these forms to make them look like so so we can copy code from here and put that there all right so here we are on user details create form and i'm using bootstrap snippet shortcut to generate this input field and here we can put the name of field and hit tab it will automatically switch to placeholder section put full name tab and type of input and this way we can generate form input so looks much nicer also what we can do is put whole thing inside separate parcel file and use that parcel file for generating all other text field so inside views we can create new folder we can call it parcels and inside parcel we'll create form folder and we can put that thing there all the code snippet inside uh, input dot blade and we can use it here and we can use in this create dot blade file by using at the rate include and location of that parcel file that's it we can get rid of this let's see yeah same thing and we can generate another field for email as well like so and put that on another parcel file but that will also be not quite reusable so we'll use that one file input file and just pass in another value like name equals to email name equals to full name and generate all other fields
and here we can replace all these fields to make it reusable by variable name. And there we go. We can make any number of fields. Just change name to any other value and you'll have form. Alright, so another way to achieve same thing is using components. So for using components, you need to create a folder inside views named components. And we same thing will create same kind of file inside component this file and we can use uh, using syntax like X and then name of file All right, so to make it more dynamic, we need to accept uh, props in this component. The way we do it here is like so, at the rate props, and we want to accept name. So that name field, name attribute will be different for each field. So we'll accept name like this, and we can use that like dollar sign name in our all all attribute likes for attribute name attribute and it will make everything dynamic right so we can make this name uppercase first and name we are passing from here and we can organize this inside form folder inside component input form and we can rename it text form now we can use now we have to alter our syntax in our create form or edit form using form dot text also we can make type different type we can accept a different type like email date number and here we can accept type type as props as well by default it will be text and if someone supplies type like email number date it will be that kind of field all right so since we have put that inside form folder now we can use we have to alter this form dot text form folder and text is the name of file so same thing and now let's make this email of type number just to taste and now this email is number we can only enter number inside there so if we make date it will be date field quite easier and quite robust and dynamic component we have we can get rid of these parcels we don't need that we'll use this component syntax also let's let's make changes on edit form as well 
and we'll need one extra field value we need to pass value for all of the field in edit form and we need to accept that value in our component as well let's give class form control to look it a bit nice okay so since we are passing value from our form we need to accept that by default value will be null and if someone passes it we'll display the value there there we go So now let's put value for each field. So we can make component for submit button as well. create new file inside components form called submit.blade and put that content there and same thing let's skip bootstrap class to it and it will change we can use syntax snippet for making that as well yeah exactly same thing let's give margin top to push that button down and we can create component for our text area as well let's create that file for text area as well oops text area dot blade dot psp and make text area using our bootstrap for snippet plugin and give it name field everything required for text area and we need to accept props as well and get rid of that now we can use that component here inside our form yeah we can use that on edit form as well all right so now everything works good so we can get rid of these curly braces and put the semi or colon in front of value like we used on view if you are familiar with that so using colon we'll take that as variable instead of just a string all right so everything works all right so at this point our form looks nice so your work next is to replace same thing uh, for other forms you can do for education work history and make them look nicer all right so next what we'll do is we'll generate something like this by pulling in all data from all the section that we have stored till now so i'll see you on next video bye